So come lie on your backs with either your knees bent or your legs straight or some combination of that. Um, really, more and more I'm kind of venturing into the territory of find a place that just feels really comfortable, a shape or a container that, that holds you and allows you to settle and rest. So that could be one knee bent, one leg straight, one leg out to the side. It could be hands on the belly, arms beside you. Just find the container that holds you right now and just let yourself fall into that or drop into that or settle into that shape. And maybe noticing, is this your habitual pattern or is this actually a pattern of comfort? And there's this really subtle difference between this is what I always do and mm, what do I long to do or what, what, what holds me truly in this moment? So just settling in and listening in to the, the deep voice of our body. And the body speaks in sensations. It speaks in longings, in, in this sense of a sweet drag in different directions. And so as you lie here on your back, in whatever way is comfortable for you, Notice the longing in you for listening or to be heard. You know, it's such a it's such a gift to ourselves to really hear. Whatever this might be, just you know, sometimes just a brief touch of your toes into the water is enough. Or sometimes a full-on plunge is what you want to do. But find the level of deep listening to yourself that feels like the, the layer that feels like wellness in this moment. So as you listen, is it just a tap of your toes, a, a check-in of, hmm, okay, that, that is what's happening. Okay, I hear you. Or... Oh, and I can I can really wallow in this and there's no there's no judgment around which level of listening we can offer ourselves just doing it is amazing just that touch of your toe is so courageous so just listening listening to you in this moment the sensations of you and often I find as soon as I start feeling my sensations I keep wanting to put names on them or judge them or say oh that's because of this and that's because of that but really try and create kind of push that thinking out and try and just be with I feel I hear I am with all this sensation right now. Listening in. And for you, where is it that you hear you? You know, is it is it in your face? Is it in your throat? Is it in your chest, your lungs, your heart? The diaphragm, the belly, the pelvis. Like where where in you are you resonating? a sensation and where are you hearing yourself it's just oh, i love this i love this like where am i resting in myself today And then see if there's other sensations in that place that you're resting yourself. You know, can you can you feel clothing in that area? There's clothing close to it. And so near that area, if it's in the center of you, 
near that area, the, the, the clothing area that is associated with, can you feel that clothing? Can you feel the breath in that area? Can you feel pressure? Because just below it is the ground. Wherever it is that you're feeling, it has a ground version of itself. So feel the ground beneath this area that you hear yourself in. And can you feel movement in this area? So there is movement. There is always movement. Movement is continuously happening. Continuously, it's always like life is motion. Every cell in your body, every molecule, every atom in your body is resonating, flowing, vibrating, moving. And so can you feel the movement in that area? of blood, of breath, of nervous system. And then feel the whole of your body. So from the top of your head, all the way to the soles of your feet, from the back of you to the front of you from the left to the right, from the outside to the inside. Just feel the whole of your body as you inhale, as you exhale, as you land and rest in this moment, listening deeply to yourself. Sometimes I find that being in relationship to a class, to a community, helps us meet ourselves and creates a container of safety to meet ourselves. So just in this moment, just be with all that there is and be held in this group of us as we all listen, as we all hear, as we check in with ourselves. Great. So come to bend your knees and bring your feet flat to the floor. And your arms, they can either be long down beside you or you can rest your hands on your lower belly if you wish. And then as we always do, just pull your lower back down or bend your knees and your feet are flat on the floor. And then flatten your lower back down so that there's no space between your lower back and the floor and your pubic bone has drawn towards you a little bit and then arch your lower back so there is a space between the lower back and the floor and your pubic bone has moved away. So just move through the lower back as you arch, breathing into your belly, and as you flatten down, drawing backwards up the spine. As you arch, breathing into your belly, and as you flatten down, pulling backwards into the floor. And again, arching, breathing into your belly, and then flattening down and pulling backwards. And as you do this, just notice rather than, oh, I'm doing this, yip pew hoo really listen to yourself. Like go, oh, so one side of my back feels a little bit more tender than the other, and I can feel something going on down the length of my legs as I move. How does your neck feel as you do this? How does your whole spine feel as you do this? Nice. And then pushing your feet down into the floor, just begin to roll up along your spine. And as you roll up, really pushing your feet firmly down, travel up along your spine. And then roll steadily and smoothly down along your spine until you land on the floor. And just do that a few times, really massaging into, deepening into the length of your spine as you travel up. And as you slowly, steadily travel down, really feeling into the full of your spine. But as we listen to our spine, we're also listening to our legs, to our feet, to the pelvis, 
We're listening to how the pressure travels up into our chest, into our necks, into our heads a little bit more. Oh, how your arms change their position on the floor ever so gently because of the way your torso changes its relationship to your arms. So many different things. Can you layer in more sensations of you as you travel up and down along your spine? Nice. Next time that you rise, stay up. And just bring your hands to the lower rib cage. So just that area, just kind of where, so you just have a bit of a poke. You should feel like the, the ribs, uh, kind of the end of your ribs as they move. So there's, if you come to the bit at the center, they're close to the breastbone and then it travels out in kind of an arc and moves down to the side of your waist. So travel along with your fingertips along the edges of your rib cage. So you should feel like you go, oh, there's the, the rib cage as it moves up. And then just place your hands over that area and keep that area where it is and try and bring your bum a little bit closer to the floor and then keep that area where it is and lift your hips upwards towards the ceiling so i'm trying to keep my upper body lifted as i lift my pelvis up and down so you're dropping your bum down and then you're lifting your hips up and your rib cage is not moving so you'll feel a different kind of stretch through the lower back and into the the deep pelvis as you do this so as you Really listen to your body, don't strain, don't force, listen and allow something to unfold, to warm up as you drop your bum down, keeping your ribcage high, as you lift your hips and feel that connection. Nice. And then lower your ribcage all the way down, let it land on the floor. Just feel the length of the back of you resting on the floor. Feel how your spine goes, oh, so nice. And then drop both knees down towards the right. And then come back up to center. And drop both knees down towards the left. So now you're just rolling, your knees are bent, your feet are flat on the floor. And you're just rocking your knees from side to side. You're just warming into the spine still. Just listening, hmm, how is my spine this morning as I move? Nice, and then come all the way back to center. Squeeze your right knee up onto your chest. Listen to your right hip, or your right knee, your right lower back, the belly. And change, squeeze the left knee up onto your chest. And so as we do each of these different movements, we're really just checking in like how, how soft does my body feel? How tight does my body feel? Change, draw the right knee up onto your chest. How, how much did that digging of the garden affect me or that long snooze I had yesterday on the floor? Who knows? You know, change, draw the left knee up towards you. You're just listening in to how this is in your body today. Nice, and squeeze both knees in. As you pull both knees towards you, let your bum lift a little bit off the floor and then release your knees, push your fingertips into the floor and let your toes touch the floor. And then squeeze your knees towards you, hug them deeply down, let your bum roll a little bit up off the floor because you're pulling. And then pushing your fingertips into the floor, you release your knees, push your fingertips down and let your toes touch the floor. And again, squeeze your knees so close that your bum lifts a little bit up. And then pushing your fingertips down, let your toes touch the floor. Nice, one more time. Squeeze your knees really close. And then let your toes touch the floor. Nice. Stretch both legs up towards the ceiling. Really stretching up through your heels and then pointing through your toes. Stretch up through your heels and point through your toes. Nice. Drop your arms overhead and just hear how that is in your arms. Is there one arm that feels like it's closer to the floor? One arm that feels bigger to the floor? One forearm that feels like it's more in contact? Nice, and then reach a little bit more like you pull your arms a little bit out of their sockets and then place your arms back down on the floor and really feel like the backs of your hands are glued to the floor. Slowly begin to lower your right leg down, keeping it straight. And slowly lift the right leg up. Nice, slowly lower the left leg down. 
and you're loading it down to whatever point feels like wellness to you and that could look really different your leg might bend as it goes you're just listening how does it feel roll over the right leg down as you lower one leg down where does this connect to deep of your belly keep reaching your fingers long and above your head as you extend keep your lower back anchoring into the floor so just keep that you're noticing the lower back and you're trying to keep it on the floor the whole time so that sense of the front of your rib cage is now pulling backwards the lower back is now pulling backwards one more time each side lowering one leg down and coming back up and lowering the other leg down and coming back up nice keep your arms overhead Begin to lift your bum a little bit off the floor because you're drawing your toes towards your hands. And then release, lower your legs until they're at a 45 degree angle. And again, draw your toes as close to your hands as you can. Maybe your toes come to touch your hands. Maybe you just feel the pull through the lower back and then lower your legs down to a 45 degree angle away from you. And again draw your feet towards you imagine that your toes can come towards your hands and again lower your legs down to a 45 degree angle last time lower your legs down so that you're trying to draw your toes down towards your hands and then feet lower down to a 45 degree angle nice bend both knees squeeze both knees towards you and just rock from side to side So push your elbows into the floor, out to your side. So there's a kind of a, there's a space in your armpits and your elbows are really firm. So feel that, your shoulders pull back, your elbows push down, you feel really strong. Glue your knees together and your ankles together and draw your right knees or your knees over towards the right. And then come back up to center. And then draw your knees over towards the left. And you're trying to notice where in your body you're feeling this over towards the right back to center and over towards the left back to center next time you go to the right if you can stretch your arms out long if you wish and just pausing there you're paused over towards the right your knees are together your ankles are together and you're deepening your breath down into the pelvis down into the belly Keep that left shoulder anchoring firmly into the floor and almost imagine that you can bring the area between your shoulder blades a little bit more to the floor. You're pulling your rib cage backwards. Nice, come back to center. And then the other side, drawing your knees over towards the left, find the place of pause and just deepen there. Dropping the breath down into the pelvis, just sinking. Imagine that your right shoulder is anchored deeply and you can bring the area between your shoulder blades a little bit more to the floor. Those of you new to the class, they're my geese. <laughs> they're not elephants. <laughs> and then all the way back up to center. Stretch both legs up towards the ceiling. Just reach down, hold on to your legs and then just bend your knees a little bit and then straighten through your legs so you're holding on somewhere that feels comfortable for you bend your knees a little bit straighten through your legs one more time bend your knees a little bit and then straighten and pull through your legs as you pull through your legs you're going to feel a tightness down into the bum down into your thighs you're opening through the backs of your knees and gently just begin to wiggle your toes as you stretch into them as you pull your legs a little bit closer towards you just wiggle gently into your toes. Try and soften your feet. How would you soften your feet? How would you allow a sense of the arches of your feet, the balls of your feet, the sides of your feet to and just be a bit softer, a bit more connected as you move them gently. Nice. Release, drop both feet to the floor. Push your feet down, your feet are hip distance apart, and just roll up and down along your spine again. So as you rise, and as you lower, you're listening into 
How does my spine feel now as I roll up along my spine? And as I roll down along my spine. Nice, one more time. Traveling up. And just pause on the up, reaching upwards towards the ceiling with your hands. Bring your fingertips to touch. So your feet are really strong and pushing down into the floor. Your bum is squeezing. The front of your pelvis is really long and open. And your fingertips are touching and your arms are stretching up towards the ceiling. So widen the area between your shoulder blades and squeeze your bum a little bit more. and roll all the way down until you come to the floor. So today we're going to work, we're going to be working on this thing, how we roll over. So we're going to start the, it's going to, we're going to grow on it all the way through the class. So bring your feet so they're hip distance apart and then drop both knees over towards the right. Have both arms wide so that your arms are straight out into a cross. And then take your left hand and bring it over so that it's in front of your face and above your right elbow. So it's kind of, it's flat to the floor, your thumb is pointing towards your nose and your palm is resting on the floor, like just above your elbow. And then roll, 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 and push into that left hand so you lift your right shoulder off the floor. And then bring that right hand until it's flat to the floor and just pause there. So both of my hands are pushing into the floor my arms are straightening and I'm looking at the area where my two hands are resting on the floor. Pick that right hand up, glide it under your armpit really slowly, lower your right shoulder down and then come to rest on your back with your arms wide and your knees up towards the ceiling. Cool. We'll do the same thing, same side. So drop both knees down towards the right. Take the left hand and bring it to the area just in front of your face and above your right elbow. Push your left hand down and then roll up so that you slide your left hand and also bring it to the floor. Both arms are straight and you're looking at the floor. Super. And then again, roll down. So you lift your right hand, stretch your right arm underneath your left armpit and roll onto the floor. Bring your knees back up to center. Great, other side. So drop your knees down towards the left. Take your right hand and bring it to the area in front of your face and above your left elbow. Push your right hand down and then slide the right hand out. No, push the left hand down and slide the right hand out so both hands are resting on the floor and you're looking at them both. Lift the left hand up, slide it under your armpit, lower your shoulder down and come to land on the floor with both arms wide, knees are towards the ceiling. Again, towards the left. Drop both knees down to the left. Bring the right hand above your, oh, bring your left hand above your right elbow. No, your right, oh, sorry, right hand above your left elbow. And then slide your left hand out until both hands are resting on the floor and you're looking at them. Nice. And then come to slide down. So the left arm slides under and you come all the way back to land on the floor. So we're going to do that a few times, but you're going to do it in your own time. So just gliding over towards the right. Roll up till both hands are on the floor and you're looking down at them with your arms straight. Come to land on the floor and then roll over towards the left. Pushing your right hand down and rest with both hands on the floor and both arms are straight. And again, one more time each side. Roll onto your back, drop your knees to the right. Roll to sit up halfway, both hands on the floor, looking down at the floor. And then come all the way back, land on the floor, drop your knees towards the left. Roll over to the left, both hands on the floor, looking at the floor. Super, come all the way back, land on the floor. Arms are wide beside you and we're just going to roll our shoulders. So turn your palms so they face down and try and lift your shoulders forward and round them forward. And then turn your palms so they face the ceiling and then turn your palms back to front. And you're just trying to really wring your shoulders out. So do that a few times. Roll your 
the hands as far around as you can in one direction and then roll your hands as far around in the other direction as you can and let your shoulders and your chest and your head help you. So is there a point where if you lifted your head it would help the rounding of your shoulders? So as your palms roll downwards maybe lift your head only if your neck is comfortable and as your palms move backwards maybe lift your chest to arch a little bit more. So you're just rounding your shoulders forwards and drawing your shoulders under. So you're trying to do a big circle with your arms in, just rolling them forward and back like a tea towel, rolling along the floor. Nice, one last time. Round and roll your shoulders forward, and then round and roll your shoulders backwards. Super cool. So roll over onto whichever side you go, and notice how you use the skill that we just learned. So roll over, Push one hand down, push the other hand down, woohoo, and then come all the way into your cat pose. So hands are on the floor, underneath your shoulders, knees are on the floor, underneath your hips, and just push back into your downward dog. And as you push back into your downward dog, just get long through both of your arms, long through both of your legs. Come up onto your toes and then stretch back. And let's lift your right leg up towards the ceiling. And then bend your right knee, draw your forehead to your knee and your knee to your forehead. Stretch your right leg up towards the ceiling. And then bend your right knee and draw your forehead to your knee and your knee to your forehead. One more time. Stretch your right leg up towards the ceiling. And bend your knee, draw your forehead to your knee and knee to your forehead. Other side, stretch the left foot up towards the ceiling. Bend your knee, draw your forehead to your knee and knee to your forehead. Stretch your left leg up, bend your knee, forehead to your knee, knee to your forehead. And again, stretch your left leg up, bend your knee, forehead to your knee. Great. Both, hand, both feet to the floor, drop your knees down. And then walk your, your fingers maybe like two inches further, it's just a tiny bit further forward. Grab the floor with your fingers. And then we're gonna try this in two different kinds of spine. So we'll have your spine in neutral. So it's not arched, it's not rounded. It's kind of a long, flat spine. Imagine that you, somebody wants to put a tray on your back and you just make a straight spine. And then sit your bum back towards your heels. And then rock yourself forward until there's more weight into your hands. Sit your bum back towards your heels. And then coming back. And bring more weight into your hands. And again, sit your bum back towards your heel and weight towards your hands. Nice. So take your left foot and step it to the outside of your left hand. And then sit your bum back towards your heels and then bring weight into your hands. Same movement, we just change our leg. Sit your bum back into your heels, try to keep your spine in neutral and then bring weight into your hands. And again. Sit your bum back towards your heel and then weight into your hands. Nice. So take that left leg and bring it straight out from your right knee so it's out to the side. So you can be on your heel, your foot can be flat, your foot can move, it doesn't really matter. Your leg is just straight out to the side. Bring your spine to neutral. Sit your bum back towards your heel and then rock forward till there's weight over your hands. Sit your bum back towards your heel. You can look forward, you can stay neutral by looking down towards the floor. See what's right for your neck, your spine. Sit your bum back and then all the way forward, bring weight forward. Now slide your left leg straight back behind you, but let your toe float off the floor. So your leg is straight off back behind you, but it's not very high, it's just floating a little bit off the floor. This one's a little bit trickier. Bring your bum back towards your heels and then rock yourself forward to bring weight into your hands. Slide yourself back. Your back foot is floating the whole time. And then forward. One last time. Weight traveling back. And then weight coming forward. Great. Lift your knees off the floor. Stretch back into your downward dog. And just have a bit of a wiggle. That right knee probably is going, wow. Bend both knees. Let them tap the floor. Stretch back. Downward dog. 
Oh, bend both knees, let them tap the floor. Stretch back, downward dog. One more time, bend both knees, let them tap the floor. Stretch back, downward dog. Good. Drop both knees to the floor. Bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand. And then rock yourself forward and backwards. So you're listening to your spine as you do this. For me, I, I come up onto the heel of that right leg as I rock back. Have your attention in the spine. So you're trying to push into both hands evenly. Trying to keep your spine long as you rock forwards. As you rock backwards. As you rock forwards. As you rock backwards. Nice. Take your foot so it's straight out to the right. So it's in line with your left knee. And then sit your bum back. Again, try to keep your spine neutral. And rock your weight forward. Sit your bum back and rock your weight forward. One more time. Sit your bum back. Rock your weight forward. Stretch your legs straight back behind you, your toes hovering just above the floor. Sit your bum back. And then bring your weight forward. Sit your bum back. And bring your weight forward. One last time. Sit your bum back. And weight comes forward. Great. Lift both knees off the floor. And just have a bit of a wiggle. Super. So from here, bring both knees to the floor. And just... Tuck your toes under and sit yourself back towards your flat feet for a moment. So your toes are flat to the floor and you're resting on the flat of the front of your feet. And just pause there for a moment and just roll your shoulders. If for any reason the knees or the ankles don't like this, then rising up onto the high of your knees and just roll the deep of your shoulders. Listen to your knees, they're telling you something. And um, roll in the other direction. Let's make fists out of your hands. Roll out through your wrists. And then roll in the other direction. Nice. Open your fingers wide. Make fists. Open your fingers wide. Make fists. Open your fingers wide. And make fists. Great. Come all the way forward, hands and knees. And push back into your downward dog and then walk yourself forward to the front of your mat and slowly rolling up back of your hands come together reaching up towards the ceiling reaching really tall palms come to rest in front of your chest super we're going to do a sun salutation i don't want to go over here so we're going to do a sun salutation just to really warm up into the spine so pushing down into your feet feel like your legs are super strong and then tuck your tailbone slightly, feel like you rise through your spine. So feel like this, it's almost like this like amazing levity rising up through the top of your head. And then reach wide into your arms and bring your palms together and look up as you reach up. And then bending your elbows, bend your knees, come all the way down, hands to the floor. Tuck your chin under and draw your forehead to your knees, hands to your shins. Lift your chest and look forward. Hands to the floor, stretch your right leg long and step it back into a lunge. Lean into your lunge. Step back into your plank. Every pose that we make, see if you can lean into it a little bit deeper. Drop your knees to the floor, lower your belly all the way down. Push your toes down, bring your fingers wider than your mat. As you push the fronts of your feet into the floor, tuck your chin under and lift the back of your head towards the ceiling as you push your fingertips down and then at some point lift your head and look forward. Nice, tuck your chin in, lowering down, hands come to rest beside your chest, tuck your toes under, push back into a cat, all the way back into crouching and then lift your knees up and come rest into your, into your downward dog. And just find the length of you.
So slide your right foot out towards the right. Just let it touch the floor over towards the right side of your mat or off your mat. And then slide your right foot forward towards your right hand. And so you're making a circle. So right hand, right foot back towards the back of your mat. And then right foot in a circle towards the front of your mat. Whatever that feels like to you. So you're just reaching through your toes, sliding your big toe along the floor from the back of your mat to the front of your mat, the back of your mat, the front of your mat. One more time. Back of your mat, front of your mat, back of your mat. Bend your knee, draw your forehead towards your knee, your knee towards your forehead. Stretch your leg up towards the ceiling. And really find the length of your leg as it extends upwards as you reach through your belly to point into your toes. Bend your knee, draw your forehead towards your knee, knee towards your forehead, and stretch your leg up and back, lengthening deeply up through your leg. Nice. Step your right foot forward between your hands. Turn your back foot at a 45 degree angle. Reach into your fingers, so your fingers are reaching out forward in front of you, and then bring your arms up beside your ears, so your chest is still resting on your thighs, so reach that back end out super long, and then slowly rising up, reaching up towards the ceiling, reaching up and looking up. So find your back leg, anchor it down, bend your front knee more as you reach deeply up into your fingertips. Tuck your chin in, turn your chest towards the left, drop your arms down, wide through your arms. Turn your right palm, reach it up towards the ceiling, reaching up long. And then lower your right forearm down to your right thigh, reach your left arm over your ear. And then reverse. Drop your left hand down, reach your right hand up. And then drop your right forearm down, reach your left arm over. One more time. Reach the right arm up, leaning back. You can deepen into the side of your body by bending the front knee a little bit more. And then come all the way down to bring your fingers down to the big toe side of your right foot. Extend your left hand straight up towards the ceiling. And find the width of your chest, the reach of your fingers. Nice. Bend your left elbow. Drop your hand down to the floor. Bring both hands to the floor and then turn your back toe so it's facing the floor. And then drop your back knee to the floor. Stretch out through your front leg. Coming up onto the heel of your front leg. Bend your front knee, stretch your back leg. Bend your back knee, stretch your front leg. Bend your front knee, stretch your back leg. Nice. Bring your right hand to your right knee and turn your chest towards the right. Bring your fingers to the front of the right shoulder. Dial in your twist. So lift the elbow and turn it, turn it, turn it around the corner, and then extend your right hand up towards the ceiling. And we find the width of your chest, the reach of your arms. Nice, coming all the way down. Bring both hands either side of that front foot, and then hop forward, all the way forward to the front of your mat. Drop your head down, forehead to your knees. Slowly rolling up. When your hands are near your hips, reach your arms wide and bring your palms together. Bring them all the way down to rest in front of your chest. Nice. And again, drop your arms down beside you, reach your arms wide, reaching up, looking up. And then bend your elbows, bend your knees, come all the way down. Hands either side of your feet, tuck your chin in, forehead to your knees. Hands to your shins, lift your chest and look forward. Hands to the floor, stretch your left leg long, and step it back into a lunge. Lean into your lunge. Stepping back into your plank, lean into your plank. And drop your knees down, lower your belly all the way to the floor. And bring your fingers wider than your mat. Push your fingertip, uh, fingertips into the floor, push your toes into the floor. Tuck your chin in. And lift the back of your head towards the ceiling. Really feel that lift first. And when you've lifted as high as you can there, 
then untuck your chin and look forward. Nice, tuck your chin in. Lowering down, hands to the floor, and then push back into your cat. Keep your toes tucked under, lift your knees off the floor as you come into crouching, and lift through your legs and come into your downward dog. And just feel the length of you, the stretch of you, both sides of your body engaging. Nice. So bring your left toes just off your mat to touch your big toe to the floor beside your left side of your mat. And then like a circle, glide your leg out and then towards the front of your mat. And then glide your leg out and towards the back. So kind of circle. The more of a circle you make, the easier it is because the closer you put it, the actually the harder it is into the joint. So really let your leg travel outwards and then towards the back of your mat. So forwards, circle, backwards. Forwards, circle, backwards. One more time. Forwards, circle, backwards. Nice. Stretch your left leg straight up towards the ceiling. Find the length. Nice. Bend your left knee. Draw your forehead to your knee, your knee to your forehead. Stretch your left leg up and back behind you. Bend your left knee. Draw your forehead to your knee, your knee to your forehead. Stretch your left leg up and back behind you. One more time. Bend your left knee. Draw your left knee to your forehead, forehead to your knee. Stretch your leg up and back behind you. Step your left foot forward between your hands. Turn your back foot at a 45 degree angle. Keep your chest on your thigh, but reach your fingers forward as far out forward as you can. And then lift your arms so they're either side of your ears. And slowly rising. Keep your front knee deeply bent as you rise, looking up as you reach up. Stuck your chin in, turn your chest towards the right, lower your arms down, either side of your ear, or straight out from your shoulders. And then turn your left palm, reach it up towards the ceiling as you drop your right hand down towards your right knee. Bend your front knee a little bit more. Nice. And then bending your left forearm, reach your right arm overhead. Nice. And then sway all the way back. Lift your left hand, reaching up, looking up. And forward, bring the right arm over your ear as you drop your forearm down to your thigh and swaying back all the way up. Left hand rises, reaching up, looking up and just pause there. Lengthen through the deep of your hip and your belly. Nice, lower the left hand down until it comes to the big toe side of your foot. Extend your right arm straight up towards the ceiling, open your chest. Super duper. Bend your right elbow, lower down, bring both hands to the floor, turn your back toe until it's flat to the floor. Drop your back knee down, stretch out through your front leg. Bend your front knee, stretch out through the back leg. Bend your back knee, stretch out through the front leg. Bend your front knee, stretch out through the back leg. One last time. Bend your back knee. Stretch out through your front leg. And then bend the front knee, stretch out through the back leg. Turn your chest towards the left and bring your left hand to your left knee. Bring the fingers to the front of the left shoulder and dial in your twist. So really draw that left elbow back and then extend your left hand up towards the ceiling. Cool. Bend your elbow, bring your hand to the floor, step back into your downward dog and just have a bit of a wiggle. Bending one knee, bending the other knee. And then turn both toes towards the right. 
So they're like little windscreen wipers, both of the 45 degree angle. And then bend your knees deeply, and without moving your hands, try and bring your left side of your thigh, the left bum, as close to the floor as you can. But you're not landing, you're just like hovering down, and then come back up. Turn your toes towards the left, and keeping both hands on the floor, how low can you hover that right bum down? And come back up. Turn your toes towards the right. Hover the left bum down, close to your foot. And then turn your toes towards the left. Hover your right bum down. Nice, next time we do it, we're gonna land. So turn your toes towards the right. Hover your left bum down as low as it'll go and then lift your right hand up and let your bum land completely on the floor. And your right hand is tucked onto your chest to begin with. Nice. Reach your right hand forward and just pause there, both hands, so it's quite a stretch through the belly, through the spine, so your both hands are back to where they would be if you were back in your downward dog, but your bum is still on the floor, just pausing there. Nice, and now push into your hands, push into that right foot, and lift your bum all the way back up. Nice, turn your toes towards the left, and let your bum, keep both of your hands on the floor. Let your bum hover down as close as it'll go. And then lift your left hand up, drop your right bum, and pause with your hand tucked onto your chest. And now reach your left hand all the way out. And if you can almost get it, or if you can get it, have your hand on the floor where you'll end up in your downward dog and just feel that through the torso. Nice, push down into your hands on that left foot and come all the way back up. Nice, one more time each side. Turn your toes towards the right. Bring your bum down until it almost touches the floor, whatever that is for you. Then lift your right hand up, bring your bum to the floor. Nice, reach your right hand forward. Let it land, push into the mat deeply with that right hand and then rise into your downward dog. Turn your toes towards the left. Hover your right bum down as low as it'll go. And then let it land as you lift your hand. And then reach your hand forward. Push it down and rise all the way up. Both knees to the floor. Super cool. So bring both knees over to the right side of your mat. So my two knees, uh, they're like really cute and oh, tucked together over on the right side of my mat. So they're still back in line underneath my hips, but the two of them are standing behind my right hand, but way back behind my hips. And then from here, let your left bum fall onto the floor. So you've kind of ended up in a similar position as what we were in a minute ago, but we're just finding another way to do it. And now, keep your right hand really strong. Take your left hand and bring your left arm underneath your uh, right armpit and bring your left shoulder to the floor. So you'll end up kind of back where we were earlier on. Push your right hand really firmly and then bring both hands to the floor. And then let yourself rise onto both knees. And then walk yourself over to the left side of your mat. Let your bum fall down towards the right. It's like a juggernaut falling over. <laughs> and then keep your left hand where it is. Lift your right hand up and slide it under your armpit and let your right shoulder land on the floor. So you should be like both knees are on top of each other, you're lying on the right side of your body and your right arm is straight out in front of you. Your left hand is standing on the floor above your elbow. Great, this is where we were earlier kind of. And now sliding out, draw that left el right elbow way back, bring your hands to the floor, lift your juggernaut up. And then bring both knees over towards the right. We'll do that one more time, each side. So both knees over towards the right. Let your bum fall down to the left. Take your left hand, slide it under until you lie on the left side of your body with your left arm long in front of you and your right hand close to your face on the floor. Sliding out, both hands to the floor. Lift the juggernaut and walk over towards the left side of your mat. Let it fall and slide your right hand underneath your armpit. Let your shoulder land on the floor. 
and then coming all the way out. Both hands to the floor, back up, and then both knees to the floor. Great, push back into your downward dog, and just have a bit of a, so bend your knees deeply and really try and drop your bum down from side to side, a bit like what we were doing earlier, but have it so that it's a little less formal what you're doing. And what you're trying to do is just stretch into your rib cage or stretch into the side of your waist or your spine. Or maybe you want to wiggle your bum or stretch through your legs or round into your spine or find something that you go, oh, that's a really interesting place, my shoulder blades right now. What do you do? How do you do it? There's no right and wrong if it feels good then trust if it feels bad then trust that too and go oh i need to not push so hard i need to not forget about my elbows or my arms or whatever it is rock into your plank push back into your downward dog rock into your plank push back into your downward dog and one last time push into your plank and downward dog cool come sit on your mat and um I'm going to sit sideways, it's easier for you to see me. And just have your legs long in front of you to begin with. Roll out through your wrists. And roll out through your shoulders. And then in the other direction. Super cool, super. As always, we're going to look at how we stand up off the floor. It's my new obsession. I did so much, so much of it the other night. I actually got seasick. I was like, oh my God. Because I, <laughs> I was like rolling and rolling and rolling. So I won't do that to you today. So... The next movement, there's two different ways to come out of it. So we're going to look at both ways. So come into your, bring your feet as wide as your mat or maybe a foot and a half wide in whatever direction you're facing in. And then drop both knees down towards the left. So it's zigzag to the left, okay? And then come back up to center and then drop both knees down towards the right. So zigzag to the right. And then come back, both knees to the left. Come back out, and then both knees to the right. Nice, and come back out. Nice, so as you do this, you'll notice that your bum travels forward towards your feet. So walk yourself back a bit, because otherwise I'd run out of mat. So walk yourself back again, or walk your feet, feet forward again, but make sure you're on a mat when you do this, okay? So drop both knees down towards the right. And then from here, just reach your arms wide out beside you or a little bit behind you and imagine that somehow it's not your head that's going to come down. You're going to try and bring your belly to your right thigh. So the first time we do this is going to be very stiff. We're going to do it over time and it will get looser. So don't force yourself. Try and bring your belly down towards your thigh. And then come back up. And again, without your arms, try and bring your belly down to your thigh. And come back up. And one more time. Belly down to your thigh. And come back up. Other side. Bring both knees up to center. Drop both knees down towards the left. Keeping your arms wide. Bring your belly down to your thigh. Is one side easier or harder than the other? Come back up. Belly down to your thigh. And come back up. And belly down to your thigh. And come back up. Great. All the way back up. Both knees down towards the right. And this time, so you're going to have your hands clasped in front of your chest. Okay? And now you're going to try and just bring your right shoulder down towards your right knee. Just your right shoulder. So you're going sideways. And then come back up. Drop both knees down towards the left. And then drop your left shoulder down to your left knee. And then come back up. Great, one more time each side. Both knees to center, both knees to the right. Drop your shoulder down. And come back up. And then both knees to the left. Drop your shoulder down. Awesome, I love it. <laughs> and come back up. So I've done this before, so I need to move myself away from my hips again, or my feet away from my hips. So again, feet are hip distance or mat distance apart, hands are still interlocked. Drop both knees down to the right, drop your shoulder down towards the right, and then try and stretch your left leg long. So you're kind of balancing. Nice, and then bend your knee, come all the way back up. 
Drop both knees down towards the left. Drop your left shoulder down to your left knee and then try and straighten your right leg. Awesome. Bend your knee and come all the way back up. Both knees back up centered. Cool. One last version of this. Okay, so drop both knees down towards the right. Drop your right shoulder down in the direction of your right knee and then bring your left hand to the floor and actually bring your shoulder all the way down, your right shoulder all the way down. So your left hand has helped you, a bit like that moment earlier, to actually let, let your left hand land on the floor and bring your shoulder all the way down. Put your left hand down, rising up. And then bring your knees back up to centre. Drop both knees down towards the left. Hands are interlocked to begin with and draw the left shoulder down towards the left thigh. And when you get as far as you can naturally go, bring your right hand down to the floor in front of you and then let your left shoulder drop completely and you land kind of in the same position as what we were in earlier. They're slightly different. And then push your right hand down and come all the way back up to center. Super cool. Nice. How lovely. So we're going to stay down there for the next one. So feet are hip distance apart. Hands are interlocked. Drop both knees down towards the right and then bring your right shoulder down to your right knee and just pausing there. Push your palms together into a prayer position and then really draw that left shoulder back. You're trying to push your weight down into your bum, down into your thigh and then slowly stretch your left leg long. And how far backwards, is this? so your left leg is going to try and move back towards it. So you're stretching the front of your legs. How far backwards can you move that left leg? So keep your leg floating and you're going to slowly start to rise upwards. This is so impossible just to say. And then let your left leg travel, travel, travel all the way until you swoop your leg either in front of your right knee or around the corner of your right knee. And then bring your right elbow to your left knee and you're going to twist towards the left with your chest. My left bum is not on the floor. It doesn't have to be. So now my Left foot is all the way around the corner, around that bench left right knee, and I've twisted towards the left, and I'm really getting tall through my spine. Super cool. Lift your elbows off your knee, lift your left foot up, and now swing your left leg back until your leg is straight, and your right shoulder is down on your right thigh again, all the way sideways. You're trying to bring that left leg as far back as you can. One last time, because we practice it, it should be a, a lot easier. Slowly begin to bring that left leg forwards. You can bend it or keep it straight. Swing your left leg as far over towards the right as you can. Whatever that means to you, it should be somewhere near the right leg or it could be all the way around the corner. Bring your right elbow to your left knee and twist towards the left. Nice. Release. Bring both feet back to straight and then drop both knees down towards the left hand side. Palms are together. You can have them interlocked or just palms together. Drop the left shoulder down towards your left knee. Pausing there. Really lean into the back of your body and then stretch out long through your right leg. My right leg I'm trying to bring it backwards more and more and I'm lengthening. So I'm trying to balance like what is the deepest place where the whole of my body is expanding and lengthening here. Palms are pushing together, your shoulders pushing down into your knee, your knee is pushing into your shoulder. And then slowly begin to sweep that right leg forward and all the way to the left. How far around the corner does it naturally go? Bring your left elbow to your right knee and twist towards the right. Wherever your foot is, as long as it's near your left leg, it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to go around the corner. Super, we'll do that again. So, unhitch your elbow, lift your left, your right leg, sorry. Sweep your right leg all the way back as you draw your left shoulder down to your left knee. Stretching out through that right leg, balancing deeply on the left side of your thigh. Sweep your leg, either bending your knee or keeping it straight. 
Sweep your leg all the way over towards the left. Bring your foot to the outside of your knee. Bring your left elbow to the outside of your other to your left little right knee. <laughs> and then twist deeply towards the right. Nice. And release. Stretch both legs long. And just roll out to your ankles. Super guys, that was really cool. <laughs> Have a bit of a bend of both knees in one direction. I really like this thing where, so I, as I bend my knees, so bend your knees just in and out. So my feet are maybe two foot apart, bend your knees in and out, in and out. And then next time I bend my knees, I turn both toes towards the left and I bend my knees. So both feet kind of end up in a zigzag a little bit. And then stretch your legs long and then bend, turn both toes towards the right and bend both knees in that way. They're kind of ending up in kind of like kind of like mermaid poses. I just find that. Bend your knees one way, and then bend your knees the other way. Cool, super. So bring both feet so they're close towards you, and have the left foot so it rests on the side of itself, and the right foot so it stands on the floor. So your right foot is standing, and the left foot is resting on the side of itself. So bring your left hand to the floor beside you. And then from here, you can bring your right hand to your right knee. And so you're going to lean forward and just lift your bum off the floor and then come back. So lean forward. The more you drop your head down, the easier this is. Lift your bum and come back. And lift your bum. The more you grab with your fingers to the hand that's on the floor, the more your knee will be protected. Lift your bum. Really use the structures that you have. So that hand on the knee is amazing. It gives you an extra lift. The foot on the side is also amazing. That can help you too. So lift your bum. Nice. Try the other side. Right foot is on the side. Left foot is standing. Right hand is on the floor beside you. A little bit of space around nine inches out from my thigh. Left hand is on my left knee. And it's really, my, I can, all my fingers are turned towards me because the higher my elbow is, the more of a lever it will be for me. So I really have my elbow high because as soon as I push into it, it actually is all right. Whereas if my elbow is low, it's not a lever. This way it's an incredible lever the higher, higher it is. So lift your bum. Lift your bum. Lift your bum. And lift your bum. Nice, okay, back to the first side. So right foot is standing, left foot's on the side. We're gonna bring it all the way up to stand, okay? So bring your right hand to your knee. Use the lever of your elbow, so your elbow is high over your hand. Left hand is on the floor. And so this left foot is gonna swing backwards a little bit. So you're gonna push down into your elbow, you're gonna push down into your hand, and then you're gonna stand your left foot wherever it comes to stand and come all the way up. And then bring your right hand to your knee, bring your left hand to the floor in front of you, and then lift your left foot up and come back down to sit on your bum with your left leg on the side and your right foot standing. We'll do that again, it'll take a few times. So right hand is on your knee, left hand is beside you. Push down into that right foot, the left hand, and travel up, and that left foot is gonna become free. Bring it to stand wherever it stands, and then come all the way up. So it kind of stands backwards a bit. Cool, yes, that worked better. Bring both hands, uh, bring your right hand to your knee, left hand to the floor in front of you, lean into that left hand, sweep your left foot under, and come sit on your bum. Nice, one more time. Left hand on the floor, right hand on your knee, push down and swing that left foot to wherever it needs to be for you to be able to stand on it and come up. Super, nice. And then bring your right hand to your knee, left hand to the floor, swing your left foot under, bring your bum to the floor. Super, one more side. So bring your left foot to the floor, right foot to the side of it. Bring your right hand to the floor beside you. So we're gonna bring it all the way up to stand. So you're where you are right now, this right foot is gonna step back behind you a bit. There isn't space for it to be in front of you. It actually naturally has to step back. So. Push into your hand that's on your knee, push into the hand that's on the floor, push into the foot that's flat on the floor, and then step that other foot backwards a bit. Come all the way up to stand. Super. 
Bring your left hand to your knee, right hand to the floor, way out in front of you. You need loads of space because your right knee has to sleep under you. And you're gonna land on your right bum. Super. One more time. Push your hands into your knee on the floor. Sweep that right foot to the floor and come all the way up to stand. Nice. Bring your left hand to your knee, right, up, right hand way out in front of you. Sweep your right knee under and sit on your bum. Nice. Stretch both legs long. That was pretty cool, guys. Roll your shoulders. As always, those how do we get up off the floors are really important. Uh, these are skills that because we don't sit on the floor, we don't have them. You know, like very few people can stand up off the floor without using their hands. So it's actually it's so important that we can because there's different stages in our lives where we need to get up off the floor and it's just a skill that we just don't have. So bring your feet as wide as they will naturally go. And just feel that through your hips. Different people, it'll be different. It'll always like inner thighs are different, lower back, buttocks, bellies, everything is different. And then just bring both hands forward in front of you. From here, sweep your right hand to the floor beside you and stretch long down with your left hand towards the right foot. So slide your left hand down that leg and drop your head down in the direction of your knee. And just notice where that stretches for you, where that meets you. Perhaps it's the sacrum, the lower back, the side of your waist on the left, your shoulder, your armpit, the inner thigh on the left. Nice. Come all the way up, bring both hands forward. And then bring your left hand beside you, uh, beside on the left hand side and dive with your right hand, slide your right hand down the left leg to drop your head down. And then come all the way back up and just sweep from side to side, warm up the back of your body. So bring your right hand beside you, slide down the left, the right leg with the left hand. Coming all the way up. So you're always diving across yourself. Left hand beside you. Dive down the right leg. Well, left leg with your right hand. I'm so sorry. Coming all the way back up. Bring your right hand beside you. Glide down the right leg with your left hand. Every time you're trying to just warm up a little bit deeper into your spine as you glide from one side. And how deeper can you go? Like how further can you reach with your body? Like where is it that you can glide or slide or soften or deepen as you glide from one side all the way to the other side. One side all the way to the other side. Nice. And come back to center. Bring your feet so they're a little bit closer. They're still not close but they're closer. Bring your right hand beside you and lift the left hand straight up towards the ceiling. And then lean the left hand over towards the right. And then look down towards your right hand and slowly drop the left hand down to the baby toe side of the right leg. And then come back up until your left arm is beside your ear and you're looking forwards. And then look down towards the floor and drop your left hand down towards the baby toe side of your right leg. One more time. Lift your head looking forward. You're in the side of your body. And drop your head look down and you're in the back and side of your body. Nice. Reach your left arm overhead and just pausing there. Every time you inhale, get longer. So you're pushing deeply down into that right hand as you lengthen more and more over toward the right with your left hand. Nice, come all the way back. Bring your left hand beside you, reach your right hand up towards the ceiling and then reaching over towards the left with your right hand. Look down towards the floor with your head and then dive the baby toe side of your hand down towards the baby, the baby finger side of your hand down towards the baby toe side of your foot. And then looking forward, bring your arm to the side of your head as you look forward, as you side bend. And then dive as you look down, bring your finger, baby finger to your baby toe in that side. One more time. Sideways, looking forward, arm is beside your ear. You're leaning through the side of the body. And then drop forward, baby toe, baby finger. Nice. Arm to the side of your ear. Lengthen as you breathe, as you reach more and more down into your body. Nice. 
Nice. Come all the way back. Bring both feet towards each other. You can bend your knees slightly if you know that your hamstrings are tight, if your back is tight. Otherwise, just come forward. When you're reaching your arms forward, you're having a bit of a wiggle. You know, as you pull gently, as you rock a bit, as you roll your shoulders, as you lean the weight from one bum to the other bum. Always in these, the first thing in the morning, this is, this is a really hard pose to do. But as you rock a bit from side to side with your bum, you're massaging out through all the muscles and the nerves and the ligaments and the fascia. You're just giving your, your bum, your back to your thighs, your lower back a massage as you rock from side to side. Maybe you lean a bit closer every time you rock from side to side. And coming all the way up. Super cool. Come to the front of your mat. And just squeeze your knees up towards you. Hug your knees in. Nice. And then stretch your left leg long. Squeeze the right knee in. And then bend the left knee. Stretch the right leg long. Bend the right knee. Stretch the left leg long. And bend the left knee. Stretch the right leg long. Nice. Bring both feet to the floor and then just bend your knees so that you're, mm, yeah, and then hold on to the backs of your thighs or you can round your back and resist. So as you resist, remember to engage your belly, engage your bum, squeeze your thighs together as you slowly roll all the way backwards. Remember you decide what level of descending suits you. As you land on the floor, as always, give thanks to the floor, what an amazing thing the floor is. And just bring your arms wide beside you into a cross. And feet are hip distance apart. And then drop both knees down towards the right and you're going to glide. So bring your left foot to your right foot. Bring your left foot to your right knee. And then draw your left knee up in the direction of your right shoulder. And then glide all the way back. Both feet to the floor. Drop both knees down towards the left. And then glide your right foot to foot. Foot to knee. And then up and beyond. And then come all the way back, both feet to the floor. Drop both knees down towards the right. This time you can stay at that level or you can kick, kick your left leg all the way over towards the right. And then coming back. And then kick the right leg over towards the left. And all the way back. One more time inside, either keeping your knee bent or kick your left leg over towards the right as you glide. And then kick your right leg over towards the left as you glide. Now let's come back to centre, arms are long beside you. And then just arching the lower back and then flattening your lower back down. Arching the lower back. And flattening the lower back down. Nice. Push down into your feet. Rise up along your spine. Then bring your hands to rest again to the front of your ribcage. And then let your bum lower a little bit closer to the floor as we did at the beginning of the class. And then lift your hips up, rising up. And again, let your bum lower down towards the floor. And then lift your hips up. Your ribs are staying in your hands. Again, lower your bum down. And lift your hips. Nice. Pause there. Hips are lifted. Push your heels down firmly. Let your thighs move a bit closer together. Then really squeeze through your bum and lengthen your lower back down and long towards the backs of your knees. And then lowering all the way down. Finding whatever way you come into relaxation. Either knees bent or legs straight. Just do, do a short relaxation. So if you feel like the soles of your feet together with your knees apart is comfortable, then you're really welcome to do that. There's only a very small percentage of the population who actually think that's comfortable. So if that's you, then great. Otherwise, knees are bent, legs are straight. If you need a blanket, if you want a blanket, if you 
want to come to rest in some other position, then please do. Just finding your way of coming to rest. The body in motion, you know, life is motion. Uh, life is connectivity, is the ability for us to, to lift ourselves off the floor and then lower ourselves back down onto the floor. It's so important. And when we were children, we learned it. And it's just, it's amazing how, how amazing you did that. You know, you, you learned how to walk, to stand, to roll, as you rest here on your back with your knees bent and or your legs straight or whatever way you are, you just acknowledge the the awesomeness of you, you know, the amazing skills that you have to follow all these movements, to to track how your body is in space. It's phenomenal how we are, what we do. Deepening into your belly, deepening into your breath, and just really letting that settle. Staying there if you want to, or slowly starting to emerge. Either just reaching down into your toes and reaching through your arms and extending whatever way you do. Awakening, rolling. Know that your blanket is still there. When we end, you can return to it. <laughs> Lovely.